up guys? So I am in the car right now and I'm on my way to, um, forgive the shakiness first of all, I'm filming on my iPhone, but I'm on my way to do a few errands. I actually have to go to Sally Beauty Supply and pick up some um, supplies for my official first day um, at the salon. I just recently got a new job at a new salon and I'm super, super excited about it. Um, the dynamics are kind of different at the salon. I'm actually not an employee, I'm a booth renter. So I have to supply all of my products. So I have a few that I have to still get um, before I can officially start working. So I'm on my way to Sally's right now to get those. And then I'm going to get a few things for the house and then run a couple more errands. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous day outside right now. I think it's gonna be um, 75, 80 degrees today, which is awesome. Today's April 1st, finally. I'm so, so, so excited for this warmer weather. I did find out um, last night that I'm going to be probably featured in Nails Magazine for the July issue. I'm gonna be doing some 4th of July nails, um, a little tutorial and like a little like paragraph telling you guys how I did the nails and things like that. So I'm super, super excited about that. That's some awesome news. Um, but yeah, I guess I will get back on here whenever we are shopping at Sally's. So I got some pretty random stuff, but it's definitely things that I needed for the salon. So I went to Sally's first and I got some pedicure slippers. These are about 12 pair. Um, they look pretty crazy, but you just like fold this end up and it clips onto the front here and you just have your little foam flip flop. These are actually thicker than the ones I normally use. So I like them a lot more. And then I got some random stuff from the dollar store. Some more of these like disposable, not disposable, but these um, travel size bottles just so I can have my product in my nail room and my pedicure room, which is easier to split all the products up that way. And then I got some aluminum foil because that is my trick that I've learned is just to cut up aluminum foil and use for my removal of gel and acrylic. And I think that's all I got there. Oh, and I just got another pair of clippers just so I'll have more on hand while the other ones are being sanitized. And then the last thing for the salon, I just got a glass bowl because I think these look so much classier and just so much more sleek whenever you're soaking. These are for um, putting the product in and soaking your nails for a manicure. It just looks a lot better than having the plastic manicure bowls that they have at Sally's. And then just some random stuff for the house, but that's that's my little haul for now. So I'm going to probably head over and get some lunch right now. Um, I think I've pretty much finished everything that I need to get. I need to go to the pharmacy and I think that's it. So I'm about to go get some food and seriously, I know it's so bad you guys, but I'm craving some chicken nuggets and some barbecue sauce so badly right now. So I think that's probably what I'm about to go get. But yeah, I'm gonna stop vlogging right now because I'm in a super crowded parking lot and people are starting to stare, so yeah. Hey guys, I'm back home right now and I have you on a tripod, that's why it's so sturdy all of a sudden. But I just got home and threw all of my stuff on the couch and I'm about to go through that and fix up my nail kit for the salon. But I wanted to ask you guys a question about videos you wanna see here on my channel. Um, I'm gonna be starting at the salon, like I said, probably next week. And after I get kind of settled in, I was thinking about filming some different parts of my days at the salon, if you guys would be interested in that kind of thing. Um, I'm going to be doing manicures and pedicures and things like that pretty much on a daily basis. So if that's something that you guys would like me to film and to show you how I do manicures and pedicures, maybe kind of film some tips and tricks I have for you guys to do stuff like that at home. Um, maybe you guys would be interested in seeing some like behind the scenes kind of thing at a salon, like what goes down and just some cool stuff maybe. I don't know. Let me know if you would be interested in any of this at all or if this is just boring to you guys and you could care less. I don't know. Let me know. Um, but yeah, I am just going to chill at home for a little while right now until Derek gets off work and I'm probably going to go clean my makeup brushes and get all this nail stuff together. And yeah, hey guys. So right now I'm going through all of my nail stuff 
and it's a lot and it's made a huge mess in my room but I wanted to show you guys what I've been up to for the past couple hours. This is almost everything I'm going to be taking with me along with I'm going to be filling this train case up and then probably those two bags. Hot coat, another manicure bowl with some brushes, lots of pedicure slippers, nail files, cuticle sticks, cotton, buffers, the whole nine yards, and this is all of my nail art stuff, my dotting tools, nail stripers, rhinestones, and then I'm going to be trying to fit a lot of it in this pretty small um, train case, and then probably those bags as well, but yeah, a long evening of organizing going on over here. He thinks he's a girl master. <laughs> This is how he's fanning the flames. It's hysterical. So Derek thinks he's a grill master. I'm gonna go check out the steaks. Let's see how good they look. <laughs> oh. So we've got little smoke bricks in there. Okay. Tan lines. He's a good kid. So good. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. And Netflix. Hey guys, so I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, Derek and I just got done eating dinner and we're probably gonna have some dessert and do a little bit more cleaning around the house and I'll have to tackle this monster of a nail room. But thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog and I'll see you next week for my next video. Bye guys.